to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access, that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. W.C. Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, W.C. Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion-resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance-free. And with an industry-leading six-year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your Onward HP Lithium-Ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. At Northwest Georgia Media, we're all about capturing the moments that matter to you. From sports to arts, from concerts to business events, we're equipped to share what's happening in your world, live and in high definition. We leverage cutting edge technology and a knowledgeable crew to see that your most unforgettable events remain just that, unforgettable. You've got the graphics at a high level, ESPN style, scoreboard angles, instant replay, anything you would expect to see on a, a regular broadcast, we're getting in a high school ball game. They're set up, you wouldn't even know that they're even in the building. You just trust that they're getting the job done. Northwest Georgia Media, where the world is your audience. Yes, sir, and thank you very much, Lynn, back at Command Central WLAQ. We're glad to have you with us this evening, and it is time for a great basketball night inside Woodard Gymnasium. It's the model Blue Devils hosting Harrelson County, of course, back in region play. You will have a girls' varsity game followed by a boys' varsity game coming up shortly after uh, this first one we're going to get to here in just a little bit. We're about 10 minutes away from tip-off, but uh, we're going to talk over the matchups here. But the first thing we want to do as we launch into our broadcast is recognize everybody involved in it tonight. 
the live stream for model basketball produced by Northwest Georgia Media that you may be watching on YouTube or Facebook. Uh, again, produced by Northwest Georgia Media, brought to you by Mathis Trailer and Equipment Sales, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialist, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Radio coverage tonight on WLAQ 96.9 FM, 1410 AM, or online at WLAQ1410.com is brought to you by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, Sylvan Learning Center, and Ware Mechanical. The crew tonight, cameras, you've got Zane Nicholson and Jesse Vitello. Uh, director tonight is going to be Mike Garrett. Replay is Nathan Patterson. PA announcer tonight here in the arena is going to be Grayson Atkins, and I have commentary for tonight. My partner in crime, Ian Griffin, has a prior commitment. His son has a youth league game tonight, so he won't be with us tonight. He's where he needs to be, but he'll be back with us coming up next Friday as uh, model gets ready to host North Murray. We'll tell you more about that a little bit later, but we appreciate our partnership with Northwest Georgia Media to provide radio coverage and also be a part of their live video coverage. And we're seeing the fans right now as you were just watching uh, the crowd cam as fans start to continue to file in here. A lot of folks in blue and looks like a lot of folks have made the trek over from Tallapoosa to support the Harrelson County teams tonight. So it should be a great atmosphere by the time we get this thing tipped off in about eight minutes. Really looking forward to it. But the first thing we're going to do right now is take a break. We'll step out for two and a half minutes. After that, we'll come back and we'll dive in. We'll start talking about the matchup that we have for our first game. Glad to have you with us. It's live coverage of model basketball on WLAQ and also the Northwest Georgia Media live stream. We continue our coverage after a two and a half minute break. West Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238-1214. WC Timber and Tree Service. Access allows me to do what I've always dreamed of, and that is helping people.
Well, we're five minutes away from tip off inside of Woodard Gymnasium, getting ready to watch the Model Lady Devils and Harrelson County Lady Rebels here in just a few minutes. And again, we welcome you back into the broadcast. Let's talk a little bit about these two teams, kind of set the stage for the matchup that we have coming up. Model playing at home tonight. They are 15 and four overall this season, six and one in region play, riding a four game win streak. And with their victory up at Murray County earlier this week, a nail biter there won that game 40 to 39. Model is now sharing a tie at number one uh, along with Murray County in 7AA. So something to keep an eye on as we get down the final stretch of Region 7AA play. And if both teams win out and end up the regular season with a tie, understand it is a coin toss to you know figure out in that instance who is going to end up hosting the region tournament in, at the end of the year, and that's going to be the, um, you know, the girls' side determining that. So, um, you know, obviously the only thing you can do if you're either one of those teams in the running for that is just to take care of business each game and try to win every game that's in front of you and then just see what happens. But uh, and, and we'll certainly keep an eye on that and keep you posted as we go along throughout the season, of course. But... Uh, again, model 15 and four on the season, six and one in region play, riding that five, four game win streak, averaging about 52 points a game. And this team can score, but I, I really feel like where this model team shines, and that's definitely something that they focus on, is the way that they play defense. They are absolutely suffocating on the defensive side of the ball, and that really opens some things up for them uh, in all aspects of the game. There's no question about that. On the other side, you've got the Harrelson County Lady Rebels. They are 3-13 and 13 this season. They are in last place of Region 7 AA at number 7, and they are 0-7 in region play. They have lost 11 games in a row. So you're really looking at two teams that have been heading in different directions over the course of the season. Uh, this Harrelson County team's averaging a little over 33 points a game. Meanwhile, uh, they're allowing 46.5 points a game. So it's kind of been a struggle for them this season. But as Sally Eccles would tell you, uh, you cannot take any opponent for granted. There are no nights off any night of the season, especially when you're in region play and uh, have what's in front of you, no question about that. Well, we are almost to game time. So let's go ahead and take one more break, a two and a half minute break. When we come out of the break, we're going to give you the starting lineups, and then we'll get things rolling from inside Border Gymnasium. Glad you're with us. We're back in two and a half.
All right, folks, it's almost game time. We're going to get you ready for the national anthem. After that, we'll give you the starting lineups, and it'll be go time inside Woodard Gymnasium. Live coverage of model basketball provided by Northwest Georgia Media and WLAQ. Let's get you over to the national anthem, and then it'll be almost time for the ball game. done by the choir here at Model High School and our national anthem and we're going to give you the starting lineups and then some basketball right here on WLAQ and the live stream. We're going to start with the Harrelson County Lady Rebels visiting tonight from Tallapoosa, Georgia down about 40 miles southwest of this area. Of course down near Bowden and Bremen and that whole area. But uh, we're going to start with number two, Anna Lane Coy. She is a 5'5 sophomore. Number four, Mary Catherine Kimball, a senior. Number five, Gabby McElroy. And number 10, Erin McCulkey in the starting line lineup tonight for Harrelson County. And also number 24, Marley Baggett, a senior. And their head coach is Patrick Sire, again, of the Harrelson County Lady Rebels. Now we're going to move to the other side, the home side of things. The model Lady Devils getting ready to make their grand entrance. So let's give you the starting lineup for them. We're going to start with number four, Ju Julia Shenholster, a senior. Number 14, Rachel Burkhalter, a 5'6 senior. Number 23, Eva Pointer, a 5'9 sophomore. Number 24, Javius Samples, a 5'5 sophomore. And rounding out the starting lineup for your model Lady Devils is going to be number 30, Sadie Rotten, a junior this year for the model Lady Devils. And again, the model Devils are 15 and four on the season, 16 and one, riding a four game win streak coming in tonight and tied for number one, along with Murray County in Region 7 AA. And I should also point out as we get ready to tip off the game here, that this week in the AJC poll, the model Lady Devils moved up one spot for the week nine rankings at number eight. Last week they held the number nine spot, had a couple of winning nights and They've moved up just a hair. So congratulations to Model Lady Devils on a great season so far and looking to keep it going here tonight. Playing on their home court in front of a great home crowd. A lot of folks in blue here tonight. And we're just about ready to go in the circle to tip things off here for Harrelson County. You're going to have Mary Kimball for the Model Lady Devils. It is Eva Pointer, the official. He's got the ball in his hands right there in the circle. And we are just about ready for the tip. We welcome you back into live coverage of Model Basketball on WLAQ and the live stream, and it's time for the ball game. The tip's going to go to model. Eva Pointer bats it away, and it's in the hands of Julia Shinholster. We're underway. They're going to send it underneath to Pointer, who is cut to the basket, and she knocks it through. And uh, model is off to a great start here early in this basketball game. Eva Pointer getting some early points for the Lady Devils. Just underway here at Model High School. Harrelson County with the ball on the other end. They thought about the three. Now drive into the paint. Ball is going to be poked loose. It's going to stay. Well, we're going to have a jump ball forced by Eva Pointer. And the arrow is pointing in Harrelson's direction. So Harrelson will inbound the ball from underneath their own basket. Models in their home whites with black letters and numbers and blue trim. Meanwhile, Harrelson County's got their Navy uniforms on with white letters and numbers and red trim for the folks that are listening on the radio and don't have the visual aspect that you get with the video stream. Harrelson County with the basketball lost the handle momentarily but retained possession. 
And already kind of struggling to move the ball against this model defense. Javis samples all in a young lady's face there for Harrelson County, and that is going to be a shot clock violation. Again, stout defense here for model early on forces the turnover. Harrelson County didn't get an open look, get a shot going. I don't even think there was a lot of awareness there of where they were on that shot clock. So they're trying to uh, maybe dial in some nerves here earlier in this basketball game. Shinholster bounces it down to Sadie Rotten. Back out to Shinholster. Open three. That was going to go over the rim. But to clean it up is Rachel Burkhalter with the rebound and the putback. So Model's lead grows to four to zero here early in this one. Harrelson County will work it across a little bit of pressure here from Model. They get it to the other end, and it's going to be a foul charge against Model. They're going to get Rachel Burkhalter with that particular foul. A little bit of contact there uh, with the body, it looked like. But we get ready for Harrelson County to inbound the ball from the baseline. They're going to lob it in, and that's going to sail into the backcourt. Chased down by Coy. Coy brings it back up, sends it to the left wing side. Wide open look at a three. That's off the mark. Model gets the rebound. Eva comes down with it. There's Sadie Rotten. Open three after the pass from Schenholster. Yes, man, that's right through. Sadie Rotten with a big bucket. And Model is off to a 7-0 run to open up the basketball game. We're not even two minutes into the game. And Model's out to a 7-0 lead. A little bit of a collision there here on the near side sidelines. And that's going to be a foul. They're going to get Javia Samples with that one. So we get ready for Harrelson County to inbound the ball trailing. In their last possession, they would have a shot clock violation. They survey the floor, going to send it in. Ball is poked loose by Eva Pointer, getting her hands in there. Shinholster drives in. And that's going to be a blocking foul that's going to be charged against Harrelson County. They got McElroy with that one. We're going to see Julia Shinholster go into the free throw line to see if she can help this league grow here for her team, the Model Lady Devils. So great start here for the Lady Devils on both sides of the floor. They were able to get some scoring going here early and they played just unbelievable defense, shutting down Harrelson County. Here's the first shot and that one's through and off to a good start in terms of free throw shooting. So Model doing everything right so far, the first minute and 42 seconds of this contest, leading at eight to zero. Let's see if Shin Holster makes it nine to zero, she does. So a 9-0 run to start the game here for Model, and Harrelson County's watching this get away from them here early. Ball pinballs off a couple of Model players. It's a turnover underneath. Pointer unable to handle the pass from Samples, and there is a whistle, and it's coming back to Harrelson County. Ball is out of bounds, I believe, on Model, so Harrelson will trigger it in. They're going to get it in to Annalene Coy. And a little bit of pressure here from Model will start to drop back, nearly stolen away. Coy handles it though, and now they've got it on the right wing side. Open three, look on the way, and it's through. That's the first bucket of the game here for Harrelson County. And that was Mary Kimball in her, in her first bucket. Again, first points of the game here for Harrelson County. Javia Sample sends it left wing side over to Burke Halter, up top to Julia Shinholster, puts up, tries to put up a shot, gets blocked. That was Kimball who just made the first bucket of the evening for Harrelson County who got the block there. 5.32 left to go in the first quarter. Model nine and Harrelson County three. Ball stolen away. Sadie Rotten knocked it loose. Eva Pointer came over and grabbed it. Now Rachel Burkhalter with it across the timeline sends it to Julia Shinholster. Shinholster feeds it left wing side over to Rachel Burkhalter and back out to Shinholster on the Javia Samples. Samples is now going to drive, kicks out, wide open three for Rotten, and it's right through. Sadie Rotten has knocked down two threes in this game, and Model now leads it by a score of 12 to 3 with just under five minutes to play in the opening quarter. Kimball brings it down. He's going to leave it off for Coy and whistle and a foul. Riley Sims is going to check into the game. It wasn't a foul. I didn't see what the call was, to be honest with you. But Julia Schenholster is going to check out. Sims is in. We'll get ready for Burke Halter to inbound the ball here for Model. Checking in for Harrelson County is going to be Hope Davis. So we'll give you a floor check for both teams here in just a couple moments. Let you know who all is on the floor. But for Model, we can tell you right now, Rachel Burke Halter's got the ball, sends it left. The samples now out to a cutting Briley Sims. Sims covered up, so she backs up and sends it over to Rotten in the corner on the right wing side. A little 
Three-pointer on the way, and it's through. Sadie Rotten cannot miss. She's made three three-point shots so far in this game, as many tries, and models out to a 15-3 lead after that big bucket. 4.23 left to go, and that is going to be a whistle from the official, and model is set to inbound in front of their own bench. Javia Samples sets it in motion, gets it to Rachel Burkhalter on the floor right now for model. You got Samples, who has the ball. Rachel Burkhalter, Briley Sims, Eva Pointer, and also Sadie Rotten. Sadie with it, sends it down underneath to Pointer. She gets blocked. Ball is stolen away by Harrelson County. Here they come back with it. Going to try to work it up the other side of the floor. Kimball's got it, and they'll try to pass around a little bit of pressure here from Model. Kimball now with the ball is going to lob it underneath. Now they're starting to make a move into the paint. Another kick out. They're going to bounce it out to the perimeter on the right wing side. Harrelson County with the ball trailing 15 to three. They've got 14 seconds on the shot clock. We've already seen one shot clock violation from them here a little over halfway through the first quarter. So they got to be mindful of that. Dribbling baseline, trying to get it to the rim. Can't, two seconds and Model is able to steal it away. Harrelson County unable to get a shot off. What a Euro step towards the bucket. Nice move, can't get the finish. There to get the rebound for Harrelson County was Hope Davis. And the Lady Rebels will bring it back the other way. Now in the hands of Baggett. Ball is going to be poked free. And out of bounds on Harrelson County, so it's coming back to model. So we get ready for JVS Samples. Well, we're going to see August Betts checking into the game, and she's going to trigger it in motion here for the model Lady Devils. So score update for you for folks listening on the radio. Model 15. And visiting Harrelson County Rebels three. So model now with a 12 point lead. Will this make it grow? Three ball on the way is going to be off the side of the rim. Here's the put back though for Bradley Sims. That one's through her first bucket of the game. Model leads at 17 to three. And you've already got five players in the scorebook in terms of scoring here for the model Lady Devils. They steal it away. Here come the Lady Devils. Nice pass underneath to Pointer and she knocks it through. Eva Pointer with her second bucket of the game. And Patrick Sire of Harrelson County is going to call a timeout, so we'll take it with them. 2.50 left to go first quarter, model 19, Rebels 3. We're back in 30 seconds. Access that allows me to follow my passion. Harrelson County with the ball trailing 19 to three model play it at home. This is varsity girls game. Our first one up. We'll have the nightcap to be a boys matchup between same school. Missed shot on the other end for Harrelson County model comes out with the rebound. They're going to send it left wing side. Now try to get it underneath and coming out with a intercepted pass is Hope Davis here for Harrelson County and they will bring it across the timeline in the hands of Coy. Coy going to send it right to Kimball. Now back up top. They work it around the left wing side. Good ball, ball movement here on this possession for Harrelson County, but even better defense. Here's a shot off the backboard. That won't go. Rebounds can be taken by Model. Sadie Rotten came out with it. She goes the other way. Will stop around the perimeter. Gives it off to Javia Samples. Now on to Briley Sims. Sims feeds it underneath the bets. Outside to Samples. Three ball is through. What a good looking sequence and finish. Samples with her first bucket of the game, and it's a three-pointer. So Mata leads at 22 to three with 140 left to go here in the quarter. So they've amassed a pretty big lead here early on. They're going to send it right wing side. Kimball for three. That one's over the rim. And the rebound's going to be taken by, well, Mata looked like they had it. They've got it. Javis Samples comes out with it. She drives, puts up a shot just in front of the free throw line, misses. Betts is there to get the Rebound actually tips it over to Javia Samples, who tracks it down, and now she's running the offense. Now drives off to the right wing side, gives it to Rotten underneath the bet. She'll post up, loses the handle, and 
I believe she was the last person to touch it. So this is coming back to Harrelson County with 108 left to go in the first quarter. Leading scorer in the game so far is Sadie Rotten. Rotten. She has had three made threes in the game. She's got nine points. Across the timeline goes Harrelson County, and they try to feed it left, and it ends up on the model bench. So this is coming back to the Lady Devils. That was out of bounds on Harrelson County. So we're right now at the one-minute mark here of the first quarter, model 22, Harrelson County three here in the girls' varsity game. Sims feeds it into Georgia Womack. Here's off the bench. As a matter of fact, we got several substitutions for model that we'll give you here in just a moment. Milan Howard's one of them. She's got the ball. She drives towards the top of the key, gives it to Sims. Jada Wells is also in the game now. Womack puts up the three, and that was going to be left short. And that's out of bounds on model. So it's coming back to Harrelson County. So on the floor for model, you've got Briley Sims, Georgia Womack, Milan Howard, Jada Wells, and August Betts. For Harrelson County, you're going to have Anna Lane Coy check into the game here for Harrelson. And also you've got Gabby McElroy as well as Hope Davis. And we'll catch the other two in just a couple of moments. But right now, Harrelson County with the ball with 35 seconds left to go in the quarter, trailing 22 to 3. They drive towards the free throw line, kicking out the left wing side. Georgia Womack on defense right now. Now they're going to have her trapped. Ball is going to be poked loose almost. Now they're going to send it to the right wing side to Kimball underneath, cutting to the bucket, and that one is going to be too strong. Rebound is going to be pulled down by August Betts. Now Model sends it to the left wing side. Now back to Briley Sims. She dribbles at the top of the key, backs up, shakes off a defender, lobs it underneath to Wells, backs her way in, puts it up, and it rolls in. So Wells, with a nice move to the bucket, gets her first bucket of the game, and that's the end of the first quarter with Model leading it 24-3 over Harrelson County. We're back in one minute. You look exhausted. Dude, my to-do list got the best of me. I finally sharpened the blade, trimmed the yard, raked the leaves, and then I mowed. Yeah, me too. Get out. You're not even breaking a sweat. I know. My grasshopper trimmed around the yard, power back the leaves, and then mowed. I did all of it without leaving my seat. I gotta get a grasshopper. Finish fall cleanup and be ready for winter with a grasshopper mower. Here we go again. Inside Wooder Gymnasium here at Model High School, home of the Blue Devils. We'll let you know Model's on top, 24 to three over the visiting Harrelson County Rebels. Model would knock down four three-point shots there in the first quarter of the game, and when they made it to the charity stripe, which is only once, they were two of two from the line. And again, lead at 24 to three. Shinholster now sends it to the right wing side to Wells. Back to Shinholster. Nope. Balls poked three. Kimball came out with it, but Model gets it right back as Burt Halter pokes it free, and Shinholster comes out with it. Julia across the timeline backs up and will set up the offense, sends it left wing side to Briley Sims. Fakes, goes into the paint, turns, puts it up, misses the shot. Chasing it down, though, is going to be Wells, and it stays with Model. Womack, no, 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 that was actually Rachel Burkhalter with the ball. Now it's going to send it around the left wing side to Shinholster. They try to feed it underneath to Wells. I think they may have found something there, but the ball is going to be poked out of bounds by the Harrelson County defense, and Model gets set to inbound the ball underneath their own basket from the baseline. Rachel Burkhalter is going to bounce it into August Betts on the left wing side. Now over to Briley Sims to Rachel Burkhalter. Three ball on the way. That bounces high off the rim, and it ping-pongs off a couple of players. Coming out with it is going to be number 10, Eric McCaulkey there for Harrelson County. And the Lady Rebels will bring it back the other way, trailing 24-3. They're now by 21 here early in this contest. Seven minutes left to go in the second quarter. They'll send it to the right wing side. Now back up top, they go to Kimball. Left wing to Coy, puts up the three-point shot quickly, and it's through. Coy is able to knock one down. That's her first bucket of the game. And now two three-point shots made here for Harrelson County. That's the only points they've gotten in the game. Shinholster on the left wing side. Now to Burke Halter. 
Sims going to feed it underneath the Wells. Now back out to Sims. On to Burke Coulter. The left wing side is Shinholster. Three ball on the way. That one rattles off the rim, but chasing down the rebound was Sims. Ball bounces off a couple of players, and finally it's off on the Blue Devils. It's coming back to Harrelson County. So a very strong start to this game here for the Lady Devils. And again, leading the way in the scoring there in the first quarter of the game is actually Sadie Rotten, who knocked down three threes and three of the four that Model made there in that first quarter. But it's also worth pointing out, you had seven players that got in the scorebook in that first quarter alone. Right now, Harrelson County with the ball, struggling to find some offense against this very, very stout model defense. They send it left wing side, now try to get it underneath, trying to get some ball movement going. That's off the backboard and it rattles in for Aaron McCulkey. That's her first bucket of the game. And all of a sudden, you've seen Harrelson County open up a 5-0 run here to start the second quarter. So trying to dig themselves out of the massive hole that they dug for themselves there in the first quarter. Wells off the glass and through. Model answers on the other end to get their first bucket here of the second quarter. About two minutes and 10 seconds into it. Kimball sends it up top here for Harrelson County to the left wing side to Coy. Now up to the free throw line they go. McCaulkey puts it up. That's going to be left short. Rebound's going to go to Sims. She's across the timeline, trying to lob it underneath the Wells and had three defenders in between the ball and the intended receiver of the pass. And Harrelson County picked it off. And we're going to see Baggett enter the game here for Harrelson County. We get ready for the Lady Rebels to inbound the ball. They're going to bring it up the end of the floor. Coy with it across the timeline, sends it right to Kimball. Kimball surveys the floor, goes up to the top of the key. Now in the hands of McElroy. Now back to Kimball. And this defense from Model just never lets up. They're going to send it to left wing side. There's Coy off to the cross court pass. It's going to be off the mark. A little too strong on the three ball. Missed it by a hair. Joey Schenholster lobs it underneath the Wells off the glass and through. Yep, I believe the Lady Devils have found something and Sire wants to reel it in. Head coach of Harrelson County. So he's going to take a break and take a timeout. We're going to do the same just under five minutes to play in the half. Models up 28 to 8, a 20 point lead. We're back in 30 seconds. Access allows me to do what I've always dreamed of, and that is helping people. Just a few seconds under five minutes to play here in the first half. Model on top by 20. 28 to eight is your score. And bringing it up the floor is going to be Harrelson County out of the timeout. Going to send it to Kimball on the right wing side. Now back around, three ball on the way, and that one's going to be off the mark. Wells tracks down the rebound, so a long rebound there for the Blue Devils. And here come the Lady Devils back the other way. Rachel Burkhalter with the fake. Sends it back to Julia Shinholster, and she will get the offense going. They're going to send it down to the baseline to August Betts. She's covered up, so bounces it back out to Shinholster. They're really trying to feed that ball to Jada Wells underneath. have really found something there with her. She's had three buckets in the game and two of them here in the second quarter. That's going to be a turnover for the Lady Devils, and we're going to see Harrelson County bring it up the floor in the hands of Coy. She's across the M at midcourt, sends it right wing side to Kimball, now back up top to McCaulkey. McCaulkey to the left, to the right wing side, rather, gets it over to Kimball. They're going to work it around to McElroy and bounce it up top. Now the left wing side to Coy. She's going to drive the baseline covered up, kicks it out. There's a three ball on the way, and that one's over the rim. And it's obvious Harrelson County thinks they're going to have a hard time challenging underneath against Mollis. They're trying to get some perimeter shots. Kimball's got it on the right wing. Now they're going to put up a shot from just behind the free throw line. That one rattles off the rim. Chasing down the rebound was Rachel Burkhalter. Motoring across center court stripe, lobbing it down to Betts with Shinholster. Betts off the glass and through. That's her first bucket of the game. And Model now leads at 30 to eight and put another person in the scorebook here for the Lady Devils. 
They're getting production from eight players now in terms of the scoring, and we're going to have wholesale changes into the game here for the Model 80 Devils. Certainly one of the advantages that they have in this game is the opportunity to have fresh legs in the game pretty much at all times. They've got a deeper bench than Harrelson County does. There, there's no question about that. Sample sends it to Rotten now down low to Milan Howard back out to Sadie Rotten. They work it around to Samples. Now to Janiah Caldwell out to Sadie Rotten. Model moving the ball around pretty quickly. Here's a wide open three there for Samples. That one goes in and out, rim not kind. And the rebound's going to be taken by Harrelson County, and I think they're going to blow the whistle on one of the model players. Yes, they did. So Harrelson County gets ready to inbound the basketball with 3.11 left to go here in the second quarter. Model leads this one by 22. Your score here is 30-8 to eight in favor of the Lady Devils. Coy sends it right wing side to Kimball. Kimball sends it to a cutting player at the top of the key. Working that perimeter. Coy's now got on the left wing side. They feed it back up top. Trying to work it to that right wing side, and they find Kimball. Going to lob it underneath, trying to get it to Davis, and what happened? They turned it over. There is nothing there in the lane here for Harrelson County so far in this game. Caldwell going to drive the lane, leaves it for Howard. Howard bounces it, kicks it out. There's Sadie Rotten for three, and that's her fourth made three of the basketball game. She's got 12 points. 33-8 to eight is the score. 2.33 left to go in the second quarter. Harrelson County brings it back the other way. Boy, Sadie Rotten is having a great shooting night here for her Lady Devils. Harrelson County with it on the right wing side. They're going to send it baseline after a backdoor cut. Here's a shot off the glass. It won't go. Javia Samples is there to get the rebound. She's going to bring it back the other way. They're going to send it to the player with a hot hand who lobs it underneath, trying to get it down to Eva Pointer, but the ball is going to be stolen away as the pass was intercepted. Harrelson County comes out with it. Here they go the other way. They send it left wing side, quick three ball in the air. That bounces high off the rim. Sadie Rotten is able to track down the long rebound. Rotten across the timeline. They're trying to bounce it underneath the Eva Pointer, but the pass was picked off. Stolen right back. Models got it. And now Samples is going to back up and set up the half-court offense here for the Lady Devils. Makes a move towards the bucket. Two passes out to Caldwell. Three ball bounces high off the rim. And a rebound is battled for. And we're going to have a walk, I believe, that was called against the Lady Devils, if I saw the signal correctly. So McCaulkey's going to check into the game here for the Lady Devils. She checks in for Davis. And now we get ready for Model to inbound the ball. Janaya Caldwell is going to send it in to Javia Sample. Sharp pass to the left wing side. Rotten for three. That's off the side of the rim. Gets her own rebound, though. Sends it outside to Samples, who surveys the floor, backs out, sets up the offense, works left, gives it back to Rotten in that left wing side. Here is Samples for three. Caroms off the rim. Rebound's going to be taken by McCaulkey. And here comes Harrelson County back the other way. We're almost at halftime. 112 left to go in the first half. Model leads at 33 to 8 here in this girls contest. Three ball in the air. That one's off the side of the rim. It won't fall. Caldwell tracks down the rebound, gives it to Samples. Two on one in favor of Harrelson County. And that's going to be a missed layup there by the Lady Devils. Harrelson County going to bring it back the other way with 54 seconds left on the game clock, 30 seconds on the shot clock. They're going to try to bounce it down low. Almost went out. Well, I believe she did. It went off on the baseline. So Model's going to get the ball back with 46.6 seconds on the clock and a fresh shot clock, so 35 seconds there. Model some subs into the game. Inbounding the ball was Milan Howard. Got it to Georgia Womack. Got a Senate left wing side. Got to get it to Burns. Now back up top to Womack. Miriam Burns into the game. Addie Mathis. Also Catherine Betts. Right now the ball is Milan Howard. They're going to bounce it inside to Betts. Now try to get back out to Mathis. Now they're going to go to Milan Howard. On to Burns. On to Womack, who's going to drive baseline. Goes into the paint. She's covered up. Going to need some help. And Harrelson County grabs the ball and forces a jump ball. Possession arrow points in Model's direction, so it stays on this end. 17.5 seconds left in the half. Model leads it 33 to 8. Here is Miriam Burns with a long two and knocks it down. Miriam Burns in her first bucket of the game, and the lead grows. 10 seconds left on the clock. Harrelson County goes back the other way. It's 35 to 8 in favor of Model. Harrelson County with the ball. McCaulkey to Kimball, and they don't get a shot off before the buzzer. There has been 
an issue with awareness of the clock, it appears. But Model leads it here at halftime. Model 36, Harrelson County 8. We're going to send it back to the studio for a two-and-a-half-minute break. We'll come back and run down the scoring after these messages. Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion-resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance-free. And with an industry-leading six-year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your Onward HP Lithium-Ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238-1214. WC Timber and Tree Service. Access that allows me to follow my passion. coverage of model basketball here inside Woodard Gymnasium. Glad you're with us tonight, whether you're listening on the radio, WLAQ 96.9 FM, 1410 AM, online at WLAQ1410.com, or watching on the Northwest Georgia media stream. However you're with us tonight, we just welcome you in and are glad that you are with us. Well, right now, model with a whopping lead, 35 to 8 is the score here at halftime. I failed to mention that the last time that these two teams met was back on December the 12th, and Model would win that game by 34 points. The final score in that one was 51 to 17. So it looks like we're heading towards a similar circumstance coming up in this one, unless something drastic changes. But Model would open up the game, scoring 24 points to Harrelson County's three there in the first quarter to take control of this game early. We got into the second quarter. Looked like a different story there starting with the quarter. As you saw, Harrelson County hit a couple of buckets early and open up with a 5-0 run. But then after that, it was shut down defense from Model Lady Devils the rest of the quarter. And they'd go on an 11-0 run to lead it here at halftime, 35 to eight. Let's break down the individual scoring. We'll start with Harrelson County. They would pick up three points from Annalaine Coy on a three-pointer in the second quarter, three points from Mary Kimball, a three-pointer that was made early in the game in the first quarter, and two points from Aaron McConkey, and that would be in the second quarter uh, right there at the beginning of the quarter, and that's all their points. That totals eight. They would make two three-point shots there in that first half. Meanwhile, for the Model Lady Devils, and again, spreading the ball around, playing great defense, a great team effort there from Model there in the first half of the game. As a matter of fact, they had nine players that got in the scorebook. 
two points for Miriam Burns off the bench. He'd have two points for Julia Shinholster off of free throws in the first quarter. Two points from Bradley Sims, two for Rachel Burkhalter, also two for August Betts. Four points for Eva Pointer. She made a couple of quick buckets there in the first quarter. Three points from Javia Samples, knocked down a three in the first quarter. He had six points from Jada Wells. And then the leading scorer there in the game so far, knocking down some big three-pointers, Sadie Rotten has been shooting the ball extremely well in this game. She's made four threes to total up to her 12 points. And as far as three-pointers made by uh, team-wise, by model there in the first half, they made five threes, four in the first quarter, one in the second quarter, and they only made it to the free throw line one time. We saw two free throw shots between both teams there in the, the first half two shots for model and that was it and Julia Shinholster made both of them so models two for two from the free throw line there in the first half you're watching a live stream of model high school basketball produced by Northwest Georgia media brought to you by Mathis trailer and equipment sales Georgia Highlands College Snodgrass and Robinson plastic surgery specialists also brought to you by WC timber dogwood books Shannon pharmacy and Crestview Angus. If you're listening to the radio tonight on 96.9 FM, WLAQ, 1410 AM, and online at WLAQ14.com, I'll let you know our radio broadcast tonight is presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, also brought to you by Sylvan Learning Center and Ware Mechanical. We appreciate you all making it possible for us to bring live coverage for folks that couldn't be here tonight. And then also, as far as the video is concerned, if you want to go back and Relive the experience all over again. You can do that in perpetuity at the Northwest Georgia YouTube channel. And I believe Nathan also has it up on the WLAQ as well. We certainly appreciate our partnership with them and bringing you these games. I want to recognize the crew real quick. You've got Zane Nicholson and Jesse Vitello on cameras. Director tonight is Mike Garrett. Replay is Nathan Patterson. And PA announcer is Grayson Atkins. Although coming up on the January 30th night over at Unity Christian School, you're going to get to hear his play-by-play -play skills as he's going to be down in the headset and bringing you coverage of that. So looking forward to checking that out. Well, folks, we're going to send it back to the studio so I can catch my breath again. We are live here at Woodard Gymnasium for live coverage of model basketball at the home of the Blue Devils, Model High School, and we're back for more after a two-and-a-half-minute break. We'll be back. West Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. They call it Mo Day, a time of fanfare and pride, and another week with the neighborhood's best yard, because you drafted the MVP of all mowers. A comfortable seat and adjustable controls bring the battle to your turf, not your backside. Ride like the wind on your solid steel stallion and give the fans something to cheer about. Because it's your day, it's Mo Day.
Welcome back as we get ready to resume the half here, second half, getting ready to get started inside Woodard Gymnasium right now, modeling control of things 35 to 8. And Harrelson County will inbound the ball as we get underway here. Harrelson County works it to the right wing side. Now they go back up to the top of the key, trying to set up that half court offense. Defense really spread out here for model. Now they're going to send it out to the right wing side, bounce it underneath, and dribbles around the baseline. How she kept that from going out of bounds, I have no idea. That's going to be over the bucket. And somehow Harrelson County keeps it in bounds, but they're going to send it over to the Harrelson County bench. It eventually goes out of bounds, so it's coming back to the Lady Devils. And they will get their first possession here of the second half. Nine players in the scorebook for model. Great team effort there in the first half to take control of this basketball game early. Rachel Burkhalter sends it to the left wing side to Julia Shinholster. Now back up top to Javia Samples. They'll bounce it underneath to Sadie Rotten. Now they get it to Eva Pointer. Now back around to the left wing side and Rachel. Rachel Burkhalter thinks about the three, has second thoughts. Now sends it to Eva Pointer inside. That goes off the front of the rim. It'll be picked up by Kimball in Harrison County. Now Harrelson County will clear out and bring it back the other way, working right and left. Harrelson County with the ball. Kimball sends it back up top to McConkey. Ball poked loose by Julia Shinholster. Could be a run out. Goes coast to coast off the glass, and it is through. So Julia Shinholster with the turnover and the bucket, and Model leads it 37 to 8. So Model gets the first points here. To start the second half, 6.36 left to go here in the third quarter. Model leads it 37 to 8. Kimball with it on the left wing side. Now going to bounce it over to the right wing. Over into the corner, they try to bounce it baseline, work in between two defenders, bounce it to McCaulkey at the free throw line. She picks it up, sends it out the left wing side to Kimball. Open player. Oh, ball is blocked. Eva Pointer came out of nowhere, blocked the shot, went coast to coast, too strong, but there to clean it up is Javia Samples. Wow. That was incredible. So a 4-0 run here to start the second half for Model, and their lead grows to 31 points. 39 to 8 is the score. Kimball's got it, drives up to the top of the key. Sends it to the right wing side. They go baseline with the pass. And the tie-up's going to be forced by Eva Pointer. And Eva's done a great job here for model playing defense and has really picked up her scoring lately. As a matter of fact, she picked up 15 points in the victory up at Murray County on Wednesday, in which her team won 40 to 39. And she certainly uh, was a key cog in how the offense was going in that basketball game. Doing a good job here tonight on both sides of the floor for sure. Across the timeline goes Shin Holster, sends it over to Samples. She drives right, fakes the pass to the right side, then gives that top to, well, to Rotten. And Rotten with it up at the top of the key, going to give it off to Samples. Now to the left wing side, they go to Rachel Burkhalter. Bur Burkhalter bounces at left wing side. Now Rotten with it. Back out to Burkhalter. Open three. Can't get to her. That one rattles off the rim. It won't go. Battle for the rebound. Who's it going to be won by? No whistle. Ball's loose on the floor. Now we're going to have a jump ball called. Yeah, Shin Holster would reach in there and grab that ball. Mary Kimball had a hold of it. Possession error goes to Harrelson County. So the Lady Rebels will inbound the ball. Bringing it up the floor is going to be Annalene Coy. Boy had three points there in the second quarter. They're going to send it up top to Hope Davis. Hope at the top of the key with it. Still yet to dribble. Is going to send it back out to Coy. Now they go to the left wing side. Now back out to Kimball. Kimball going to dribble back out to the M and try to set up some half-court offense for this Harrelson County team. Ball is stripped away. Pointer comes out with it. Gives it off to Rachel Burkhalter. Here come the Lady Devils after another turnover in their favor. They're going to send it right wing side to Julia Shinholster. She's going to send it over to Eva Pointer. Now back out to Samples. Out to Rotten. Puts up the three ball. That would be her fifth. Missed the shot. Samples comes out with the rebound. No balls loose. Picked up by Kimball. Harrelson County has it. Annalene Coy going to fire it across the timeline right into the hands of Javia Samples. But she travels with the ball trying to gain control of her body. And so it's going to come right back to Harrelson County. Let you know who on, who's on the floor for both teams. We'll start with Harrelson County. Kimball set the inbound. She gets it to Coy. Other three players out there for Harrelson County, you're going to have Gabby McElroy as well as Aaron McConkey. And the fifth play there is Marley Baggett. Coy going to send it out to Kimball. Kimball bounces it to the right wing side back to Coy. Now they're going to heave it to the left wing side. 
Baseline dribble, trying to get the runner blocked there from Eva Pointer. She is everywhere, folks. Ball is out of bounds on the block, so we're going to see Harrelson County inbound the ball, trailing 39 to 8. They're going to try to bounce it in. It gets away from the intended receiver of the pass and rolls to the Harrelson County bench, so it's coming back to the Lady Devils. Hope you're staying warm out there in radio land. We had a little bit of a break from it today, but going to be in freezing weather here for the next over 24 hours or so. Ball is stolen away by Harrelson County on the other end, and Coach Sire is going to call a timeout there for Harrelson County. So let's take it as well. 3:51 left to go in the third quarter. Model up 38 to or 39 to eight over Harrelson County. We're back in 30 seconds. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Say el primero. Model with a whopping 31 point lead over halfway through the third period of this basketball game. Model with 39 points to the Rebels, eight. And you're listening to live coverage of Model Basketball on WLAQ. And also, you may be watching the live stream produced by Northwest Georgia Media. And again, however, you're with us tonight, we welcome you in. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Harrelson County takes the inbound pass out of the break. Now they're going to bounce it to the high post, get it to McCaulkey, kick it out to the right wing side to Kimball and knocks down a three-point shot. A good offensive set there right out of the timeout. That's their first points of the third quarter, and that cuts it to 39-11. to 11. Joya Schenholster for model with it on the other end, sends it left wing side, gets it over to Briley Sims. Sims with it on the left wing side in front of the model bench. Now they're going to kick it out to the left wing corner over to Sadie Rotten, back out to Sims. She'll drive towards the lane, drives it to between two defenders, puts it up. It rolls off the rim, picked up by August Betts. Now to Sadie Rotten on to Javia Samples. Shinholster, the feed to Rotten, now to Betts. Now a kick out to Shinholster. Now back out to Rotten. Good ball movement. Three ball on the way. Can't get the finish they were looking for. But, boy, they set up a nice wide open shot there for Rotten with several passes there for Model. So getting some good reps in in this basketball game. Model 39, Rebels 11, here visiting from Tallapoosa, Georgia. Kimball with it on the right wing side in front of the Harrelson County bench. They're going to work it around the left side, now into the corner over to Coy. She dribbles even further into the corner, being guarded right now by Sadie Rotten with some help from Julia Shinholster. Now the right wing side to Kimball, bounces at baseline to McCaulkey. Ball is going to be knocked out of bounds. I believe it was off on August Betts, so it's going to stay with Harrelson County on their end of the floor as we edge close towards the final two minutes here of the third quarter of the basketball game. Going to have a boys game coming up for you. we got the Model Blue Devils and the Harrelson County Rebels. Model 12 and 7 riding a six-game win streak there on the boys' side coming into this one. Kimball is going to send it in off the inbound pass. Three ball on the way. It's going to be high off the back of the rim and a whistle. And a foul is going to be charged against Model. So we're going to see three free throws coming up. That's going to be on Shinholster. So going to the free throw line, we're going to see Gabby McElroy. And she will have three shots coming up here. She was in the act of shooting a three there when she was fouled by Shinholster. And as a matter of fact, I should point out, these will be the first free throws of the basketball game for Harrelson County. Going to have Janiah Caldwell's sub into the game, and now they're going to wave off the free throws and say that it was on the floor, I suppose. Harrelson County will inbound the ball. Dribbling with it is going to be Coy, and that's going to be a foul that's going to go against Janiah Caldwell, who just entered the game off the bench. 
So we'll get ready for Harrelson County to inbound the ball with 2.26 left to go here in the third quarter, trailing 39 to 11. They're going to inbound the ball into the backcourt. They get it to McElroy. McElroy to Coy. Coy being guarded right now by Caldwell. She stands on the M, dribbles, goes to the right wing side, sends it to Kimball. Kimball covered up by Javia Samples. is going to try to bounce it underneath, but August Betts is there to pick off the pass. Cuts off the passing lane. The center right wing side to Caldwell. Drives baseline, trying to leave it for a teammate in the lane. And the ball gets loose. Coming out with it's going to be Briley Sims. Sims on to Caldwell. Sends it over to the left wing side to August Betts. Betts on to Javia Samples. Samples going to drive into the lane. Has four defenders on her. Tries to get it to the rim. No call there underneath. And the ball is going to be brought out by Harrelson County after an empty trip there for the Lady Devils. Harrelson County with the ball. We're under two minutes to play, by the way. 1.35 left to go in the third quarter. Here's a heave towards the bucket. That won't go, and it goes off the foot, or off the shoes of one of the Harrelson County players and out of bounds. So Model's going to get the ball back with 1.31 left to go here in the third quarter. Model up 39 to 11. On the floor right now for Model, you've got August Betts. Also, Jada Wells, Janiah Caldwell, Georgia Womack, and Briley Sims. Betts on the left wing side with it in three-point range. He's going to send it out to Briley Sims. 25 seconds on the shot clock here for the Lady Devils. They're going to give it to Janiah Caldwell. She sends it right wing side of Georgia Womack. Womack back to Caldwell. Ball's poked free and stolen away there by McElroy. Tries to lay it in, gets blocked by Caldwell. Great sportsmanship as you saw McElroy go to the ground and Janiah Caldwell, who fouled her, Helps her up off the floor, but we are going to see free throws coming up for McElroy. These will be the first of the game here for Harrelson County. So two coming up here for Gabby McElroy after the foul from Janiah Caldwell. First one rattles off the back of the rim. Rachel Burkhalter is going to check back into the game here for Janiah Caldwell. Harrelson County with one more free throw coming up here of this pair. Their first pair of free throws here in the game, and that one's going to be through. So they're one of two from the free throw line. 39 to 12, your score. Model on top of Harrelson County. Get ready for August Betts to inbound the ball here for the Lady Devils. Bringing it up the floor is going to be Rachel Burkhalter. She's across the center court line. Going to send it over to the left wing side to Betts. Going to try to lob it underneath. Gets it to Wells and travels. So that's a turnover there for the Lady Devils. It's coming back to the Rebels. Kimball feeds it in, bringing it up the floor. is going to be Coy. Coy across the stripe, sends it right wing side to a sub, Larry, Leah Johnson. Now back out to Coy. Coy dribbles left wing side here for the Rebels. Now back up top, they're going to go to Johnson. Send it to McCaulkey, and the ball is going to be tied up. Jump ball called quickly there, and that's going to be in favor of Model. So it's coming back to the Lady Devils with a 39-12 lead with 41.4 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Going to have some Georgia Tech hoops coming up for you on the airwaves of WLAQ tomorrow. They're going to host Virginia down at McCamish Pavilion at 6 o'clock. Pre-game with Andy Demetra starts at 5.30 from Legend Sports Network from the Georgia Tech Radio Networks, make sure to tune that in if you want to hear a good call of some basketball. Demetra is unbelievable. That's going to be left a little bit short there for Wells, but she does draw all the contacts. We're going to see Jada go to the free throw line for the first time of the basketball game. We've not seen a lot of free throw attempts in this game. As a matter of fact, we've seen for two, we've seen two for each team. Models two for two, and these will be their third and fourth free throw shots in the game. So Wells is going to put up her first of the game, and that one's right through. So Model remains three for three from the line and leads it 40 to 12 at 22.0 seconds on the clock. 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Wells at the stripe with one more in the air, and that one is right through. So Model remains perfect from the charity stripe as Wells goes two for two on that trip. Harrelson County across the stripe. Coy sends it left wing side. Now Harrison County will dribble around the top of the key, sends it right back to Coy on that right wing. Now back up top, they get it to McElroy. McElroy feeds it left wing side to Kimball. Kimball being guarded by Sims, tries to work around her. There's Wells on the switch, and that is the end of the third quarter. Model is going to lead it after three by a score of 41 to 12 over the visiting Harrison County Lady Rebels. We're back in one minute for the final quarter.
Final Lady Devils lead the Harrelson County Lady Rebels 41 to 12 as we enter our final eight minutes here of this basketball game. Model has been in control since the beginning of the game. They led it 24 to three after the first quarter, 35 to eight at halftime. It was 41 to 12 at the end of the third quarter, which is where we are right now. They're gonna try to send it underneath. Samples is able to pick off the pass, goes back the other way, almost has her pocket pick, but retains possession, sends it to a wide open Sadie Rotten, and you're gonna pay. Wow, that is right through. Sadie Rotten knocks down her fifth three of the basketball game. My goodness, six threes tonight here for the Model Lady Devils. That was their first three in a while, and it was a big one. 44 to 12, your score, 722 left to go in a ball game. Three ball on the way on the other side. That's gonna be a miss. There for McElroy and Harrelson County, a one and done trip. Here come the Lady Devils back the other way. Shin Holster sends it to Rotten. She's red hot and it's through. Yeah, look at it. Go right through. My goodness, she's got 6 3 in the basketball game. 18 points for Sadie Rotten. Man, oh man. Just under seven minutes to play. Model up 47 to 12. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by Kimball. Boy, some kind of shooting tonight by Sadie Rotten. Have yourself a game, young lady. 18 points, six main threes in the game. Feed her the ball. She's got it on the right wing side, gives it to Shinholster. Back to Sadie Rotten. They want to try again. That one caroms off the rim. 6.44 left to go in a ball game. Model with a big lead, 47 to 12. And again, the first time these two teams met this year, it was similar. Model would win that one 51 to 17. So we're gonna have a really similar score at the end of this game, it looks like. Shin Holster with the ball for Model. Model working left to right, has it on their side of the floor, trying to feed Sadie Rotten in that corner. Now they're gonna get it, samples back to Rotten. She's open, ball's on the way, and it's through! Make it seven, wow! This is something to watch, folks. Sadie Rotten's on fire tonight. 6.15 left to go here in the ball game. Model's up 50 to 12. And it's been a three-point shooting clinic here from Sadie Rotten, knocking down seven in this game with 21 points. That's something. Harrelson County, they're going to try to feed it baseline. Samples is there, steals it away, bringing it up the floor. is going to be Rachel Burkhalter. Let's see what the Lady Devils do. Yep, they're going to feed it to Rotten, but she's covered up by McCaukey that time. So they'll work the ball around. Back to Rotten. She's open now. It's on the way. That one's off the side of the rim. I think they want to see how many she can get. Why the heck not? Model up 50 to 12, 540 left to go here in the ball game. Harrelson County with it. McConkey going to send it to the left wing side to Kimball. Kimball going to feed it back up top. Now they're going to get it to McConkey in a high screen. She's going to feed it out to left wing side. And that's going to be a turnover for Harrelson County. It's coming back to Lady Devils, and Harrelson County is going to call a timeout. So we're going to do the same thing. 522 left to go in this one. Model's been in control from the beginning. Model 50, Rebels 12. We're back in 30. Model Lady Devils are leaving no doubt tonight. They're up 50 to 12 over Harrelson County with 522 left to go in the ball game. Sadie Rotten has been the star of the show tonight offensively for the Lady Devils as she has made seven threes here in this basketball for a total of 21 points in the contest leading all scores. Of course, you've had offensive production from up and down the roster as you've had nine players that have gotten in the scorebook. Uh, but certainly highlighted by the three ball shooting there from Sadie. Lady Devils with the ball, rotten with it on the left wing side. Now over into the corner to Rachel Burkhalter. Samples trying to bounce. It goes off the foot of one of the Harrelson County players. 
Model retains possession of the basketball. They're going to feed it underneath to Eva Pointer. Now back out to Samples. Drives the lane. Tries to feed it across to somebody, but nobody was there, and it goes out of bounds. Robbie Dooley, one of the assistant coaches for a long time for this model team, fields the ball and gives it back to the official. Going to have wholesale subs into the basketball game here for Model, so we'll go ahead and tell you who all it is. Jada Wells, August Betts, Milan Howard, Addie Mathis, and Briley Sims. On the floor for Harrelson County, you're going to have Mary Kimball with the ball. It's going to be Anna Coyle. Now they're going to feed it over to Lee Johnson, trying to bounce it underneath a cutting coil, but it's cut off by August Betts. And now Sims is going to bring it up the floor here for the Lady Devils. Lady Devils with the basketball and a whopping lead. They're going to send it out to Addie Mathis. Mathis out to Milan Howard. Howard surveys the floor, trying to find the open player. He's going to hand it off to August. Now on to Addie Mathis in front of the model bench. To Brawley Sims to a cutting bets. Tries to get it to the rim. Gets fouled. We're going to see August go to the free throw line here for the first time in the basketball game. Have not seen a lot of free throws in this game. Attempts, I should specify. But August Betts is the free throw line right now. And the first one's in the air, and it is through. So she gets ready for another one. Free throw shooting has been perfect so far in this game for Model. They're 5 of 5 from the charity strike. August Betts with one more coming up as her coach looks on. Second shot on the way. That one's off the rim. That's the first miss from the free throw line tonight. So Model 5 of 6. Here comes Harrelson County across the timeline. Coy's got it, sends it left wing side to Kimball. Almost halfway through with the final quarter of this one. Kimball going to send it around to Coy on the right wing. They're going to try to bounce it down to Davis underneath, but August Betts is there and steals it away. Howard on to Addie Mathis. Mathis backs up and sets up the offense here for Model, leaves it off for Briley Sims. Now on to Howard, left wing side, they go to Betts. Bounces underneath to Briley Sims, has her pocket pick. Coming out with it is Hyatt, the freshman for Harrelson County, and a whistle and a foul is going to be charged against the Lady Devils. So we're going to see Harrelson County inbound the ball in front of the model bench and bring it up the floor, trailing 51-12 to with 3.45 left to go here in the final frame of this one. Harrelson County with it. Kimball's got it on the left wing side. Kibble's going to dribble up top, trying to work around Jada Wells. Sends it over to Coy. Coy being guarded by Addie Mathis. Bounces underneath to Davis. She's caught up between two defenders. Shakes the ball loose. And then we get a whistle and a foul, I believe, against Model. That one on the floor. So we're going to see Harrelson County inbound the ball. They're going to lob it inside. Going to get over to Alyssa Hyatt. Hyatt sends it up top to Coy. Coy dribbling the ball right there on the mid, on the M at midcourt. Sends it to the left wing side to Kimball. Kimball sends it up top to Coy, being guarded right now by August Betts. She tries to work around a screen there by Davis. Works it left. Now drives into two defenders, and we're going to see a blocking foul that's going to be charged against August Betts. Trying to draw the charge there, but it's going to be caught on Betts, and now we're going to see... Kimball inbound the basketball for Harrelson County. Going to have a boys game coming up for you in just a little bit. Looking forward to bringing you that one live on the Northwest Georgia media stream and also radio coverage of that one. Ball poke free. It's going to stay with the Lady Devils. Coming out with it, it's going to be Howard. August Betts has it. we got a player down here for Model. Going to have an official timeout, it looks like as Briley Sims was a little rattled there. And Coach Eccles is going to come over and chat with her, make sure everything's all right. I didn't see what happened there. Uh, I think she's going to be okay. She goes over to the bench. We're going to have a substitution into the game here for Model. Georgia Womack's in the game. Janiah Caldwell, Addie Mathis. Also, Jada Wells and Milan Howard. That's who's on right now for the Lady Devils. Janai Caldwell going to fire it underneath, gets it to Wells. A little lob pass over to Milan Howard. She gets blocked there by Hope Davis, but there was some contact as well. So we're going to see uh, Wells going to the or Howard going to the free throw line here late in this game. So Howard at the line with her first free throws of the game. The first one's going to rattle out. Get ready for the second free throw. Couple of subs into the game here for Harrelson County. Checking back in is Gabby McElroy. 
And also into the game is Bella Harley. Shot on the way, and that one rattles off the rim. So you've seen Model miss a few free throws down the stretch here. They were perfect much of the game. Harrelson County bringing it up the floor with 2.45 left, trailing 51 to 12, where our score's been for a minute here. Ball stolen away. Womack is going to have a run out here, goes in and lays it in, kisses it off the glass. 53 to 12. And that was the first bucket of the game for Womack. So now you got 10 players in the scorebook here for Model. It's been a fantastic team effort here from the Lady Devils. It's a good basketball team. Harrelson County trying to go baseline, lost the handle, and the ball sailed out of bounds on him. And we're going to see Model inbound the ball, leading this one 53 to 12 with 2.17 left to go. Catherine Betts is going to sub into the game for Model. Also, Miriam Burns makes her way onto the floor. So right now for Model, you've got Catherine Betts, Georgia Womack, Miriam Burns, Janiah Caldwell, and Addie Mathis. They're going to bounce it to Burns, who already has a bucket in the game, try to get it back to Womack. 23 seconds on the shot clock for the Lady Devils and two minutes on the game clock. They're going to feed it underneath to Catherine Betts. That one catches the front of the rim, won't quite roll in. Ball's out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Lady Devils, though. And a K. Coy going to check back into the game here for the Lady Rebels as Janai Caldwell tries to bounce it in here for the Lady Devils. Ball's poked out of bounds on the inbound pass. So Model's going to retain possession of the ball. They get set to inbound the ball from their side of the floor underneath the basket. They get it in to Burns. Burns tries to lob it underneath, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds there by the defense of Harrelson County. So we're going to see Model inbound the ball again with 153 left to go in a ball game. Of course, this one was settled a long time ago. Addie Mathis with the ball, going to feed it up top to Womack. But you got to tip your cap to Harrelson County. They continue to battle overmatched here by this model basketball team. They are going to play to the final whistle, which is what you want to see if you're Coach Patrick Sire, Harrelson County Lady Rebels. Got to be proud of the effort that his team's putting into this game here to the bitter finish. Georgia Womack set to inbound the ball here for model. She is going to find Catherine Betts on the right wing side, who sends it right to Janiah Caldwell. Now on to Womack. Womack with it, stops, sends it to Betts. Betts lost the handle, and coming out with it is Harrelson County. And that's going to be a whistle and a foul. It's going to go against the Lady Devils. I'm going to get Betts on that one. So Harrelson County set to feed it in. Hard to believe how far into the regular season we now are. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. But Harrelson County with the ball, they lose the handle for a moment, but retain possession. They'll back up with it. Leah Johnson with it. Going to send it over to the right wing side to Gabby McElroy. McElroy being guarded by Caldwell. Ball is going to be poked loose, trying to keep it in bounds. I believe Harrelson County actually went out of bounds with it. So Model's going to bring it back the other side of the floor. But going back to the remaining schedule for Model, they do have a non-region uh, game coming up on the 30th against Unity at Unity, but otherwise, shots up there by Mathis is going to be missed. There's going to be four more region nights of the season for the model team, so really five more nights of basketball games for both of these teams, and that's going to be the end of it. And get ready for the region tournament. Here's Burns off the pass. That was going to rattle in her second bucket of the game. Miriam Burns. It's got four points for the Lady Devils. 47 seconds left on the cock. Harrelson County's going to bring it back the other way. Coy sends it right wing side. They're going to get it over to Johnson. Johnson back to Coy, who's on the left wing with it now. They're going to send it inside to Harley. Harley turns, tries to get it to the rim. Misses everything. Teammate comes in and grabs it. That's Holcomb. Tries to get it to the rim and gets fouled. No, that's not Holcomb. That's actually Alyssa Hyatt. We will get some free throw attempts here late in this ball game. 31.8 seconds left to go in the game. Model leads at 55 to 12. So it's been a matter of the final score for quite a while now. Could be very, very similar to the previous contest earlier in the season. Shots on the way, and that one's going to rattle in. First point of the game for Alyssa Hyatt. It's 55 to 13. First time these two teams met, it was a 51 to 17 result up at or down at Harrelson County, rather. They're to the south of us. Here's the shot on the way, and that one's going to be through. She makes them both. 30 seconds left on the clock. Across the timeline goes Caldwell. The shot clock is off. 
So Model potentially can dribble out the remaining seconds of the game. They're going to send it up top to Addie Mathis. Going to run their offense. Now back out to Womack. Now on to Catherine Betts at the top of the key. 14 seconds. Tries to get it to a cutting call well. And the ball is going to go out of bounds. Gets away from Model. And now Harrelson County will have another possession before the game expires. Lady Rebels bring it up the floor. Coy's got it. She'll cross center court, feeds it right wing side, kept it inbounds. Johnson's got it. Three seconds on the clock. Harrelson County, let's see if they get a shot off. Nope, they don't even get the shot off before the ending buzzer of the basketball game. So that's all she wrote, folks. Model wins this one. 55 to 14 is your final score here in a region contest to move the season record to 16 and four and seven one in region play. Meanwhile, Harrelson County, they are now 3-14 for the regular season, 0-8 in region play. Models' win streak is extended to 5. Meanwhile, the losing streak for Harrelson County is extended to 12. Again, your final score, Model 55, Harrelson County 14. We're going to send it back to the studio for two and a half minutes. We'll come back, run down the scoring, get you ready for the boys' game. Coverage of Model Basketball, Northwest Georgia Media, and WLAQ. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance free. And with an industry-leading six-year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your Onward HP Lithium-Ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service Welcome back in, everybody. We're live at Model High School, home of the Blue Devils, Woodard Gymnasium, and the Model Lady Devils just picked up a 55 to 14 region victory over Harrelson County to extend their win streak to five games. They're now 16 and four on the regular season and 7-1 tied for number one in region 7AA. Here's how the scoring would break down there from our first game of the evening, Harrelson County Lady Rebels would score 14 points, three points from Annalyn Coy. She had a three-pointer in the second quarter. Two made threes for Mary Kimball. She had a total of six points. One point for Gabby McElroy and two apiece for Aaron McConkie and Alyssa Hyatt. 
So that's the scoring for Harrelson County. On the other side, you would have 10 players that got in the scorebook for model. Miriam Burns knocked down a couple of buckets for four points. Four points also for Julia Shinholster, two apiece for Briley Sims and Rachel Burkhalter, also with two, Georgia Womack. Three points for August Betts, made a field goal and a free throw in the game. Four points for Eva Pointer, who had an outstanding night uh, defensively there for the Lady Devils. Five points for Javia Samples. Eight points for Jada Wells. And then the star of the show tonight offensively for the Lady Devils, no doubt about it, was Sadie Rotten. She had 21 points on seven made threes. So that should all total up to the Lady Devils, 55 points to Harrelson County's 14. So that's going to be the end of our broadcast here for the girls' side of things, but we're getting ready for the nightcap. It's the Model Blue Devils and the Harrelson County Rebels coming up next on WLAQ and also the Northwest Georgia Media live stream. So we'll get you set up for that and ready to roll. We're going to go ahead and take a two-and-a-half-minute break. Again, Model Lady Devils, the winners in the first one, 55-14, your final score. We're back for more in two-and-a-half minutes.